is. It won't take that long. And since I'm walking right now, um, if anything, this if anything, this video will I mean these uh, these clips will serve. Just as a record of uh, how long it takes, uh, you know, if you if you move out to the Big Island on your own, to kind of uh, pull things together together and get settled and situated, this stream is definitely not a million dollar homes addition. of walking and talking. The sky's a little bit hazy from the twilight, so it'll be a little bit it'll be a little bit before some stars come out. I probably will get probably before I get a before I get a camera that uh Uh, before I get a camera that's higher quality, where where you'll be able to see things in detail at night, I probably will. I probably will end up getting a camera that I can go underwater with. Um, just the other day, what was it? I think it was yesterday, actually. Um, I, I went to uh, I went to go um, uh, to my usual spot on Coconut Island and um, right as I was getting ready to jump in I saw that there was like a big fish uh, feeding Uh, feeding, uh, feeding right on the, uh, probably on plankton and stuff, um, or, whatever kind of micro-vegetation grows, um, uh, on the rock bed. Um, where I was about to jump in, so, so I guess that's something a little bit different about, about rocky beaches versus sandy beaches. It's not, um, at some, at some points you can, you can just walk smoothly into the water. Um, they've kind of like, they've kind of like done some building and, Maybe even added a little bit of sand and made it easier at some at some beaches for a person to be able to walk in, just kind of gradually go into the deeper water. But if you don't go in like the main the main water entrances, then a lot of times you're just you're just jumping right off of uh, like a rock bed uh, right into the, right into the water, and then. Um, and then you just kind of climb up uh, to get out. You just kind of climb up up the rocks, just a little, just a little short climb, like like a two or three yard climb uh, back up the rocks and out the out, out the water. 
Um, so yeah, right before I jumped in, saw a big fish, like maybe the size of maybe the size of a rugby ball, uh, just kind of feeding and. I think immediately as I jumped in, I think I may have startled it, and I, I think I felt it like peck at me. I mean, eventually I'll get this confirmed. I'll get to swim with more animals, but these animals don't play. It's really gonna take a little bit of getting used to swimming with all different kinds of, of wildlife. And I mean, for the most part, they're all basically harmless, but I get the gist that they will let you know if you, uh, if you're ruffling their feathers. Most of the time though, I think I just feel, most of the times it's a little hard for me to, to see where I've been swimming lately, but I just feel like little fish swimming, swimming past my legs and stuff. Um, and then when I've gone out, when I've gone further out, when I've gone to beaches further out, I've actually seen like colorful fishes that I was swimming with and stuff. But they still were quite small. So we'll see. And we'll also see when the sharks come into play. I have yet to encounter a shark in the water. But I guess if anything, you just gotta punch him and keep and keep going. All right, that concludes uh, today's clip. I'll check in with everyone on Friday.